Welcome to Let's Create with Rosalie. Um, today we're going to Dutch pour on this wooden round. It's, um, I believe it's, uh, let me see, a 10 inch, I think, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, it's a 10 inch round. I bought it at Michael's and it's already pre-drilled with the clock holes, which I uh, covered with a piece of um, painter's tape. And um, I um, put, I gessoed it just in case it would warp, but I don't think it will. It is a pretty thick wood, um, but just in case, Figured it's better safe than sorry. So today we're going to try and do the same color as these um, the beach coasters that I did. They're they're fully resined and finished. However, these I was having problem with the resin this morning. So this has this and another coaster will, will have to be redone and um, I'll show them to you when they're fully resined properly. Now let me get my gloves. So the colors we we did on the um, on those coasters was uh, the Artist Loft Phalo Blue, Pebeo Studio Iridescent Green Yellow, the Folk Art Aqua Flash, Artist Loft Cobalt and Metallic. And I'm adding this other one. It's the Pebeo Iridescent Blue Green. And then we also use the Artist Mind Caribbean Blue. And then we'll top it off with the Shimmering, Deco Art Shimmering Silver. Shake my, my white. There we go. Now this is just the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. If you go to Michael's and buy it, get the one that's just a squeeze bottle like this one. Forget this one. It's useless. It doesn't even work anymore. And I don't think you get as much from it than you would with this. So go set that aside four my spatula so just coat coat it with your white base I'm not going to use the hair dryer on this because I think it'll just, since it's such a small piece, it'll just blow the paint everywhere. Okay. Set that there. Hmm. Paint looks yellow. But it's white. Must be the lighting. Oh, I forgot to turn on my lighting. Excuse me just a second. Let me turn it on. I might utilize this. This is, um, <laughs> it's real cute. The world's smallest leaf blower. It's just basically a, uh, to help you clean your, like, keyboards, your computer, instead of using those can air. This is pretty powerful. If you get something like this, don't get the hair dryer one. That's not powerful at all. Because I bought it. Okay, let's torch the bubbles.
just I'm just coating the sides, making sure that you don't see the wood. I'm going to do, I'm going to try and keep this, the upper one, because that's where I want the 12 to be. I want to keep it as a negative space. I'm going to put three puddles, one here, I, one in each side where the nine and the three would be, and then this, where the six. So, let us see. Okay, if you drizzle paint, it'll just get covered when you blow. Don't be pretty, I hope. This is, this is a beautiful, I'm not a blue person, I'm more of a red, but I do like this blue. Okay. Okay, there's my other white. Okay, let's round them. Okay, I'm going to do it by blowing on it. Okay, now let's blow it out. Dizzy. I think I'm going to redo this again. It's pretty though. I put too much white, but before I do that, I'm going to tilt these, tip them, tip them somewhere to skew. Make earrings out of them. Okay, set those aside, let them dry, and I'll make them into the dangly earrings, just like this. I think you, there's too much paint in there, and if I leave it like that, it'll crack. So, let's remove the paint, wipe it off.
I've made magnets with my drips. Real cute, too. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Boy, is my mat going to take a while to <laughs> for this paint to dry? It's so loaded. But it's not a low, lowly Vefe mat, but it'll do. So I got this on Amazon. It's a uh, it's a dough where you roll your dough when you're making bread. And you can cut it. It's a silicone mat. And it was all I could afford. I think I got it for nineteen ninety nine on Amazon. Okay. Just a little bit of white in each of the circle. There. That's it. Exactly what I want. Let's clear up the drips. And tilt where you see any paint that's, that needs uh, either white or the color of your, I need white there. Oh, right here is, I need white. Whatever you do, don't put your wet, drippy hands all, all over the painting. So a little bit of right here. Oh, remove this. Okay, let's torch it. And this is exactly what I was looking for. Now put that beside it. And let me show you. That that's that's the coaster we made with the same color except for an added extra on this one. I got my negative space. Look at that. I'm gonna lose that cell right there. Hopefully not. But look at all the beautiful cells. Yeah. 
and this is my mess. So that's it. That's going to be my clock. Um, I'll show you when it's dry and I'm ready to put the, the hands on it and numbers and then uh, remove the hands and seal it with some resin. So please like, share, and subscribe and give me a thumbs up uh, if you like. So. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And this is a little puppy. Loki. What's up, Loki? My daughter's puppy. My puppy's sleeping. This is Loki. Little. Isn't he cute? Okay. Thank you. Once again. Bye.